The first thing you're going to do is you're going to hold up your pencil and you're going to angle measure the shape of the paper. So we have the tilt or the axis of the back of the page, the tilt of the front of the paper, the tilt of the right side, the tilt of the left side. Once you have them, let's draw them in the drawing. So you're going to start by drawing the sheet of paper. And because of perspective, that sheet of paper is going to look something like this, mm -hmm. isn't it? We're going to compare the height of the paper in our vision with the width of our paper in our vision. We want to make sure that we have the right shape. So how does that paper look from where you're sitting? I want to think about this. If I took this sheet of paper and I cut it in about half, the apple is going to be about this big in proportion. So the first step is that my apple is sitting in the middle of my paper. So I'm going to put two lines crossing each other like this to find the center of my paper in my drawing. And I'm then going to just very gently, very lightly, I'm going to just basically put the basic proportion of the apple down with light, light lines like that. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my pencil up to my actual apple in my eyesight, and I'm going to check its axis. And in this case, I have an axis that's tilting. And when I look at axes, I want to think about a clock. What part of the clock would my pencil be pointing to? So when I come over to my drawing, I want to make sure that the axis line that I draw is also at 11 o'clock. I then want to establish perhaps the counter axis line. And I certainly want to use my underdrawing circle as a guide for how big I'm drawing. If I look at this apple, there's going to be places that feel like they are almost straight lines. And then we're going to meet a point where that seems to break and change direction. So we're talking about the contour. Like for instance, notice this left side contour over here, how the top edge of the apple is almost lining up with a straight line. If I drew a straight line like that, look at how that apple really follows that straight line for a long time. But then it comes to here and the straight line isn't lining up anymore. So I have to make that shift and break and shift and break. So we start carving the apple like that. So I'm going to start with that first angle. Then I'm going to build the point where it breaks and I'm going to do the second angle. And of course, I'm going to hold my pencil up to the apple to see what those angles are really doing each time. So the axis of the apple and the axis of the side of the apple are the same. So I can bring that side of the apple axis in like this. Then we do this one down here. And of course, if we do this one down here, there's a big gap, so we can close the gap by putting another straight line like that, something like this. And we're going to continue constructing with straight lines the basic contour of the apple. So now I want to talk about the final word of the day, and that is this word, apex. So if I have a contour that's going like this, and then that contour shifts to this angle here, and then it shifts again here, these places are the apex of the curve. If I'm standing on the apex and I go to the right, where do I go? On this angle. The apex is the place where the angles of contour change.